just to review, this is the basic Jewel Thief circuit without anything special except prepared for secondary. For the safety of my eyes, because the lights were very, very bright and it was hurting me to use them, I put in a 33 ohm resistor right at the battery. Um, this is the X-Tree, that's the name of the toroid that we're using. Um, the resistor is set at 246 ohm. It's the 2N3904 transistor. The basic Joule Thief light is removed. And we have two secondaries wound. The first one is 74 turns. The second one is 21 turns. Um, the first one, the first S1, is the first one. And I had been studying, I have been studying Tesla's lectures from 1892 to 4, and he always describes these lines as line 1, line 2, and so forth. So I decided to do that. Um, this is line 1, this is line 2, both of the secondary S1. Secondary S2, I, I named this L3 because I'm still not sure if these two shouldn't be connected to each other. So I want to say that there is a difference in both volts and frequency when I use this 33 ohm resistor. Uh, you'd expect that. Um, but what I have found in general is that if if there is anything at this lower level, at this level of the Joule Thief, if there is anything that changes the voltage, um, it will also change the frequency. If something changes the frequency, it will change the voltage. So I have a table that I made that has the frequency and volts of S1 with the 33 ohm resistor, the 10 ohm resistor, which I use to tell what the amps draw is, and no resistor. I also did a, a table um, for that, for the S2, since they are different, and I believe it's significant, and I also believe it's what Tesla was up to with the hairpin uh, circuit and things like that. Um, I would like to show you what I found in table form. Looking at the effect of the battery resistors on the frequency, which is why I, I think this is very important, um, with the long, the S1, um, without, with no resistor, 62.5 kilohertz, 58 volts, um, with a 10 volt, uh, 10 ohm battery resistor, um, this, the voltage goes down to 49 volts at 68 kilohertz. With the 33 ohm, which is what I'd be using, um, the voltage is generally around 25 volts at 125 kilohertz, just on this S1. Now the S2, which has a different number of turns, uh, with no resistor is uh, 12 volts at 95 kilohertz. With the 10 ohm resistor at the battery, it's 10 and a half volts at 128 kilohertz, and with the 33 ohm resistor, which is what I use most of the time, again, the voltage is 9.25, and the frequency is 208 kilohertz. Now, the funny thing is that I see the 208 kilohertz on this one from time to time as well. Um, with this, I can't quite resolve it. Um, it's experimental, you know. <laughs> so, uh, before I finish with this this part two, I would like to show you the effect of the uh, resistor, the, the battery resistors on the lights, but since I still have that basic Jewel Thief light in there, I'm going to first show you what that does. You see how bright that is? Now the others are all on, but they're, they're dim. I can't, you know how these cameras adjust. Anyway, so that's number one. Now, with the thief out of there, we'll just uh, I'll put these on. This is this is all the lights. This is all the lights with the full um, 
blazing. <laughs> there they are. Oh, they're 10, 10 in series on the S1, and uh, well, I'll get into it later, but there are five in two groups of series on the S2. The 10 ohm resistor. This is about as bright as it was with those with that um, with a jewel thief in its place. Now this one, this is what tells me what's happening because it's so close to the limit that if I if I drain juice out of any one area, the lights might just go out, and I really know uh, what's going on. So all right, I'll get into the details of this in the next video. That's it for now.